Francesca of HeyFriendHey.com. So today we are going to discuss an all-natural remedy to help you deal with those frustrating menstrual cramps. I don't know about you guys, but when it's that time of the month for me, I would pop three or four Motrins at a time a couple of times a day. Completely awful. Lord only knows what's in those pills, but... After doing some research, I discovered the powers of molasses, blackstrap molasses to be exact, and it has worked wonders for years. So of course, I had to take the time to make a video and share the wealth with you guys. So let's jump into how to get rid of the pain naturally. Here's what you need. Now, as with everything, there are tons of different brands to choose from on the market. This House of Herbs brand has been my absolute favorite. Why? I found it most effective, most affordable, and this 16 ounce jar doesn't hurt because a little goes a long way. So you'll have this for a while. Now, why blackstrap molasses? Well, it comes from sugar cane, so it's all natural, and it's what they call the third boil. They boil it down a couple of times depending on what it's going to be used for. If it's going to be used for baking, as a natural sweetener, but the third boil means it's actually low in sugar content because it's like the last boil so this is what we want we do not want the sugar content we want the minerals we want the nutrients that's what's going to strengthen the muscle the muscle around the uterus where the cramps come so this is an all-natural muscle relaxant basically so this is what you want this is what's going to work and i will explain to you the different ways that you can use it to help you when those pains start coming. So let's jump right into that part. So here are three ways that you can use blackstrap molasses during that time of the month. Your first option being just drinking one tablespoon of it straight. It's pretty hardcore, not the best tasting thing in the world, but this is about health. It's gonna get the job done. Try that. Now if that tablespoon is not your thing, you can try putting it into a nice hot cup of tea. Just make sure that the tea of your choice does not have caffeine in it, because the caffeine will kind of go against the healing properties that we're looking for. So definitely keep that in mind. Now the third option that I've tried that has been super effective has been adding it to your oatmeal. Instead of honey or whatever natural sweetener you're using, try using one tablespoon of the blackstrap molasses and kind of mix it up in there with whatever other toppings you're using. I promise the taste is not so bad. So those are your three options. Do you use blackstrap molasses or something else that's healthy and clean? Let us know in the comments, share the wealth, let's keep the conversation going. As always, if you try the options that I mentioned, give us feedback so that we can continue figuring out what works and what doesn't. I hope you guys found this information helpful. I missed you guys, so happy to be back. And as always, I love you and I will see you guys next time. Bye!